So if you're doing this framework and there's no discovery at all, or it's a very quick decision between some someone else apart from the team, um, would it make sense to have, or or if uh, or probably you already have one? I don't know. Who should be accountable? Just as the Scrum Master takes uh, accountability for implementing the Scrum framework, who should be accountable for implementing or making sure that there's a, a good discovery process? Is that the product manager, or is it all the team, or? Well, I mean, my answer is that's not important. Okay. That's process. That's not important. In fact, we coach teams. I don't just mean product. We coach teams to focus on results, not process. So, uh, I've, you know, there's a lot of great, uh, one of my favorite, I mean, Elon Musk likes to say the problem at a lot of big companies is process becomes a substitute for thinking. Okay. That's not what we want. Or Steve Jobs would say, you know, what makes great products is not process. In fact, their system is that they have no system. <laughs> that They understand that. You know, it doesn't mean there's no process. It just means that that's not what it's about. Um, Bezos says you have to be very careful with uh, process that, in, especially in bigger companies, process becomes the thing. So all of these people are trying to teach everybody, teach every, that that is not where you want your focus. It's not about who, you know, process. It's about results. Um, and just, it's the same really. I mean, the truth is one of the reasons I like Scrum is it's so simple, so minimal. <laughs> Because it's it's it says now, you know, most of the uh, good product teams I know are not using Scrum. Actually, they started with Scrum, but very quickly they realized that it's not actually that it's sophisticated. <laughs> they can do better than Scrum, and if they, uh, but I tell them, look, Scrum is fine. If you want to stay with Scrum, awesome, it's fine. If you want to get better, if you want to go to more continuous delivery. There's other stuff. Most of them move to a Kanban or a Kanban XP blend. And that is great. But you know what? That's not going to change the course of the company. If, 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 they, if they're not doing... The reason I push Scrum on them to start is because most of these organizations, they're releasing like once a quarter. Mm -hmm. This is deadly in a product company. This is deadly. So why do I say, oh, just go learn Scrum, that's the minimum? It's because that'll break that. That'll fix that. They'll be, you know, I tell them, you need to be releasing no less than once every two weeks, each product team. If you're not doing that, you're not even getting Scrum benefits. So don't even fool yourselves. But most of them, that, that at least gets them to work on, on test automation, on release automation, so that they can have consistent small releases. Now, of course, it's not that hard to get better from there, but at least once they're doing that is good enough. And then we can focus on the bigger topics like, well, now let's look at, are you building the right things? That's a bigger question, right? Are you building the right things? That's a much more important question than are you releasing every week? So instead of what I'm getting is instead of following a process or having someone that takes care of the process, it's coaching the whole team towards so they look uh, to the to the north star, to the outcomes, to then start working towards there, just following agile practices, agile values, right? Is it correct? 